Hey guys, it's Shay with your weekly entertainment news and I know you love the shirt. Come on, it's fall. On September 8th, after Rio Chakraborty arrived for the third day of questioning with the Narcotics Control Bureau, NCB, officials arrested her. Following a medical test, Rhea was brought before the court where she was sentenced to a 14-day judicial custody and the court also rejected her bail plea. According to the transcript, the NCB report said, Rhea revealed her involvement in the obtainment of drug and financial transactions and also her instructions to Shishan's housekeeper, Samuel Miranda, and her brother Shoik in that regard. Quote, therefore, it is clear from the statement that the respondent is an active member of a drug syndicate connected with drug supplies. It is also clear from the statement that the present respondent used to procure drugs for Sushan Singh Rajput for consumption purposes. What? Yeah, no, they're just going to sit there and look at the drugs. According to the statement given to the NCB by Samuel Miranda, Sushant's housekeeper, he revealed that he used to get drugs on the direction of Sushant and Rhea. Yeah, no... Who else would tell him to? I, for one, don't think she had anything to do with Sushant's suicide and hope they aren't using her to pin the untimely and tragic death of Sushant on someone other than himself. Mental health has always been a stigma in the South Asian community, which I think played an integral part in this entire tragedy. Earlier this year, reports emerged that director Ali Abbas Zafar's next film is a superhero female film, spearheaded by Katrina Kaif? Ali confirmed these developments and within the press and the fans got so excited. A Bollywood female superhero? Hell yeah! But Katrina Kaif, come on! Bring back Ash or Deepika, whatever. However, it turns out the viewers will not get a chance to experience the two-part film in theaters because, not because of COVID, but there's a different pandemic wreaking havoc on the theater industry. Netflix, duh. A source close to the project said that Katrina's movie is gonna be mounted on a huge scale. The budget is RS 200 crore. That's like a billion American dollars. I think. I was never good at math. Anyways, Ali Abbas Zafar approached producers and studios to bankroll the project, which would be for the first and the sequel, but all of them found the venture to be too expensive, so Netflix Chachu came through like he always does. Ishan Qatar and Ananya Pandey's latest dance number, Beyonce Sharma Jaiki, from their upcoming film, Kehli Pehli, seems to have left fans disappointed, with many criticizing the lyrics for being racist. The song, which released on September 6th, features the two actors grooving to the peppy music composed by Vishal and Shekhar. However, it's the lyrics, which translate to, after looking at you fair women, Beyonce will feel shy. One, no she won't because she's Beyonce. And two, fair and lovely, come on man, that's like so, like last year I think. Fans chastise Bollywood for being regressive, with some of them even apologizing to Beyonce. Again, it's Beyonce, you don't need to do that. The track has already received more than 150,000 dislikes. Make that 150,000 and one. How can you think of making such a song in recent times, tweeted a user. Another commented, I mean seriously, kya ho gaya creativity go? Some of those also tweeted memes to Beyonce to show how she would react. Again, I doubt Beyonce is gonna react to this cause you know, I don't think you're ready for this Jerry. I don't think they're ready for this Jerry. I don't think they're ready for it. Because it's Beyonce. Come on now. Subscribe to Showbiz India's YouTube channel and be sure to click on that bell icon for instant notifications.